welcome to my Thermomix kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a hot chocolate that's healthy and nutritious and great for kids as well as adults. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are with the Thermomix ready to go. This is not in Cook I Do, it's a recipe of my own. I use one table, about one tablespoon of um, cacao. Cacao is less processed than cocoa. And then I use one date. If you wanted more chocolatey, just use more hot cocoa or more cacao or cocoa. Uh, one medjool date. If you want it sweeter, use more. And then the thing that I do measure in, so I'm going to scale here. I'm currently in ounces. And then I'm using 15 ounces of. Um, I use soy milk, but you can use any other uh, plant-based milk. So 15 ounces, and then that's all the ingredients. Three, three ingredients. Delicious hot chocolate. So we'll go back over here, and I'm gonna set this for um, let's say three minutes, three minutes, and then. Um, 170 degrees Fahrenheit and we're going to go all the way up to speed 6. Um, I'm going to increase the speed slowly to give the, um, the date a chance to get chopped up a little bit and speed 6 is the highest speed you can use and still use the heating function and we'll have to see at the end of it we might have to uh, go up to speed 10 to make sure that all of the date has been properly chopped up. Okay. So that was three minutes. As you can see right here, I didn't quite make it to 170 degrees Fahrenheit um, because I started with frit, uh, fridge temperature milk. I got my milk out of the refrigerator. So um, if I'd used room temperature milk, I would have probably been at 170. It's still you know, warm enough for consumption, so that's not uh, an issue. I can always add it. To but as you can see, there's steam raising here. Um, and I want to see if I have little chunks of Maybe it didn't sound like there was much left. So I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna run this on speed 10 for maybe 30 seconds. Alrighty, that was 30 seconds. I'm gonna turn this off. And here's you can see the steam rising from the hot milk. I don't normally do, I don't normally use the strainer, but I want to use the strainer and pour the, uh, the hot chocolate through here to see if there's any chunks of dates left over after our pulverization. Foam is my favorite part, which the Thermomix makes a great foam, but this way not. And you can see there's little something, little chunks here. They don't bother me, so I'm going to eat them. And then that's how I make my hot chocolate. Okay, so then before I go, I wanted to demonstrate the self-cleaning or the pre, what we call pre-cleaning function of the thermomix. So I filled this up with some water and I'm going to put one drop of liquid in here, dishwashing liquid. Put that, put the lid back on. And we have the pre-clean function right here, it tells you what the different uh, modes are we're going to use the fats or caramel because there's quite a bit of fat in both the well comparatively speaking to other plant foods in the cacao as well as the the soy milk um, it sets everything up for you all you have to do is turn it so there's dough all purpose and then comes fats and caramel the machine closes itself and then in eight minutes i'll come back and show you what the result looks like Alrighty, so here we are at the end of the pre-cleaning cycle. Uh, so the lid looks clean. Take this to the sink and dump it out and give it a quick wipe with a dishcloth and then come and show you. Here we have the mixing bowl. As you can see, it is clean. One thing you always want to make sure with the mixing bowl after you clean it is you want to make sure that down here, especially these pins, are dry and there's no moisture accumulating around there because that's how you can ruin your thermomix by allowing water to dip into the base. So here's the lid. It's clean. Measure. 
Thanks for joining me this morning as I showed you how to make a wholesome, healthy hot chocolate that's great for kids and adults and you can adjust it to your personal taste and all it takes is a few minutes in the Thermomix. And if you have any questions about the Thermomix, please comment below or send me a, a direct message. Um, and if you would like a personalized demo on how the Thermomix could work in your kitchen, uh, please contact me as well and we'll get that scheduled for you. In the meantime, please like and subscribe. It really helps my, my channel grow and I appreciate it very much.